Hi and welcome to another Tabitha's Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at this. This is a home sweet home piece, fantastic to grace any home. We've used quite bright and uh, primary colours in it, but you could do it. You could do this in a kind of grayscale. You could do this project any way that suited your home or the home for someone you love. So today I'm going to show you how to make this. So we have our hill and I want to um, carve into it a bit with the Taurus saw, but I just need to make sure I leave enough space for the home sweet home. So I'm literally just going to go over this. This is the stencil we cut and I'm just going to put this in. I'm not going to need to all of it. I just need the bits at the edges so that I know that that's um, as much as we want to do. So I know I don't want to go further into there, there, and there. It's also kind of good to go, okay, I think I'm a you know, I put the home suite at home a bit further over here and I probably need to bring it over this way a bit and so it'll be back. So I'm going to say to there, here and over here. So it will be more like that. All right, so I'm going to now take this over to the Taurus store. Now I'm thinking from, the, I want some kind of like the, the um, clouds, I'm carving in kind of um, thing, you know, shapes like this at the edge. Um, to just break it up a little bit, the the edge of the piece, um, and kind of create, keep that sort of um, pattern going. I'm trying to think what it's called, curly pattern like that. It has a name. Someone tell us what it's called. So I'm going to do those. I'm I'm going. I'm not. If, you, if I wanted to keep these exact marks, I'd put some um, lip salve down on this, which helps hold the Sharpie. But I'm quite happy to freestand free it. I kind of know where I want the, the bits to go, so I'm going to put that on and do that now. So we did break a couple of bits, but we can put those on okay when we um, put the piece together. Um, now I want to do the home sweet home. I've done, I've um, cut it again using um, some vinyl, uh, which I've now got to get onto. So here it is. We're now going to put this in the oven to let this dry. Just, it's not so much if you had a hair dryer, you could do it with a hair dryer. I don't have a hair dryer here. I am slightly concerned that it looks like it's, it doesn't look straight, but I'm hoping once it's off, it will look all right. If not, we'll have to do it again. We didn't actually dry it. I thought it could come off. I was really worried it wasn't straight enough on the piece and we were going to have to redo it anyway. So I just pulled it off and it looks fine. It may not be 100% straight, but it's straight enough for what I want. So to create the C, I'm going to use powders. I'm going quite dark on the powders because the glass is quite a dark blue already. I'm not worrying about the middle bit because it's going to be covered by the land and I just want to get some glue in this middle bit so I can hold the hill in place. So that was deep cobalt blue. Here I've got some indigo. Mm -hmm. 
And then I've got some Midnight Transparent. And then using Pinch Method, I'm just putting on some white. Finding it hard to use a pinch method with a finger with a plaster on. But. And then I'm going to use a pointed stick to scraffito into the powders. But I can first of all remove the wave. in the kiln. We've used our sunflower and water lily marini as flowers because they're kind of big and um, we've used our little house marini as well as one of the houses and then just other houses we've made ourselves. Um, cut this beautiful roof using the same technique as the clouds and the thing and the hill and used our heart marini as like the smoke out of the house. Um, obviously our green leaves are various different sizes and here it is ready to go in. So here it is out of the kiln. Um, we put it in the frame. I absolutely love this as we showed it around the studio and someone went Peppa Pig and it is a bit Peppa Pig-esque. Um, really love it. I sort of knocked the sea a bit so you may want to kind of, I think maybe if I was going to do it again I would have the home sweet home on already. Um, you know, sort of mask that off with a bit of paper and then do the sea so it was only going where the sea is. I just quite like having the sea behind the bits I'd cut out. So that was the reason I did it before. Um, I love, you know, our little ha um, marini house, I think looks great and it's a sort of a great addition, um, slightly kind of, you know, to, to this project and really adds to it. Um, maybe we'll have to make a collection of houses so you can next time you can just you know add our marini houses i love the heart i love the heart cut out in the roof and the heart um uh smoke and this sort of just these this sort of continuation with this pattern that's cut out the hills cut out of the clouds cut out of the roof i think works really well if you don't have a torus saw you could just do it without all of that you could cut some clouds and ground grind them you could just do a normal roof and a normal hill and it would still be a really fun project. It's just adding a little extra twist. I did this in paper to start with. This was a, a paper project I did of my daughter, um, for my daughter years ago and thought, oh, I'd love to make that in glass. So here it is. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember, you can get all of our fabulous Marini at tabithasglassemporium.com. And um, remember to sign up for our newsletter. You get fantastic ideas when new videos are coming out and when we have any new products. That only comes twice a week, so we don't inundate you with it, but it's enough to just to keep you informed with what's going on here. And of course, you want to know that. Um, also, remember to uh, like this video, subscribe to our, our YouTube channel, share this video. All of those things help us, so we really appreciate them. And until next time, Happy fusing.